Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do um, some gel polish. And what I'm planning on doing is what I told y'all back in another video that I like to do um, and what got me into using gel polish at all. Um, I like to be able to put down a base on my nails and um, be able to do nail art over it and then take the nail art off and put more nail art on without having to redo the whole manicure. And today I'm going to show you how I do this. Now I'm not a gel expert. I'm just getting into gel polishes. I don't have a lot of experience with them, but I'm going to show you how I've been doing it or how I do it. Now a lot of times um, if I'm wearing a gel polish, I'll do a peel off base coat. But today, since I'm planning on doing a whole lot of taking it on and putting it off and you know, back and forth, you know, with different nail arts on my on my nails. Um, I'm just going to show you how I put on a real gel manicure that I plan on leaving on for a while. So here are the things I'm going to use. I've got my little fat file from Revlon. Um, let me turn it around. This is a, one that's got all kinds of different, you know, levels of, you know, grit and whatever to it. But my nails are totally clean, but I'm going to go through and I'm, I'm not really filing. I'm more like buffing, kind of just get all that nail and just to, you know, make sure that I've got a smooth surface to work on. And here we go. My nails were totally clean. I'd already washed my hands and, and everything. And I'm going to take this little brush and just dust off any dust I might have gotten. You know, there shouldn't have been much. I didn't go crazy. But definitely want to clean that dust off. And then I'm going to go in with this. It's from ASP and it's Prep and Clean Dehydrant. A dehydrator. And you, you don't have to be as crazy careful with this as the next step we're going to do. This you can just put all over. And this just helps really dry that nail out and make the, the polishes stick. The polish, the base coat, everything. It's giving it a good base. And you don't have to worry about getting this on your skin too bad. Um, you don't have to be as careful with it. The next step I will be, will be very, being very, very careful. we go. Just do that. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on my tips too. Got a little bit of residual polish still stuck under there, but there we go with that. So I'm going to close that up. <clears throat> the next product I'm going to be using is also um, for, that I got from Sally's. And this is the Beauty Secrets Acid Free Primer. They do have primers that are more acid. Um, and it comes in a little, you know, a little teeny tiny brush and I'm going to be very careful with that. I don't want to get this one on my skin. And this is really going to help prime that nail and get it ready for the gel application. And I've got a wonky little brush on. i got a couple of little sprigs sticking out. So I'm just applying that. Super thin, you know, don't don't need no don't need to go crazy on this one and if you don't have these products you know it you don't have to run out and buy them to do gel polish um, I like I said I just got into gels um, before I got these products what I would do is clean my nails really good and then take you know my 91% alcohol and um, you know, uh, just wipe my nails down with a lint-free, you know, wipe for that. Next, I'm going to go in with my base coat, and I'm using Model 1's base coat today. And <clears throat> I am going to totally scrape off both sides of the stem. And then about halfway on the on one side, and then all the way on the other side. I don't want just a ton of product on there. Can you see that? It's like a little bead. And I'm going to just get started. Because 
when you're working with gel polish, you really, really do want to stick to super thin layers. If you don't, you'll have a lot of bubbling and nobody wants that. You don't want to put all that time and effort into it and then, you know, have a messed up bubbly manicure. You want to make sure to get all the way over to the sides. You do want to cap your free edge. And I keep a little dampened dish with the 91% alcohol in it. You don't have to have acetone for this part. I always go through and clean up my around my cuticles. I don't want to get gel cured onto my skin. I always do my thumbs separate um, just so that I can hold it flat under the you know the LED lamp that I use. So I'm going to go off film and go do that. I'll be right back. Another tip that I like to do is instead of just capping just that free edge, I like to do as much of the sides also on capping, you know, the free edge, not just the tip, but also on the sides. I wanted to show you all that real quick. And I will be back after I get this base coat on all of my nails. Okay, I'm going to do the same with this. I'm going to get all of the polish off the stem that I can, scraping it against the side. And you're going to take all of the polish off of one side and then some of the polish off the other side and just leave a bead to work with. Of course, that really depends on how long your nails are. Now, with regular polish, I start normally at about my cuticle, but with gel polish, I kind of start in the middle of my nail and just kind of get that that end going. You get some of the polish off of the brush and then that way I've, it's more manageable and I run less of a risk to you know flood my cuticles. And another thing about gel polish is you, you've got plenty of time to work with it and if you're not happy with it you can take it off and you know start over before you cure it. But after you cure it it's, it's there. You have to go through the removal process. Now, after I do that and get it on my nail like that, I go back to my bottle and I scrape off all the polish I can get off and try to clean that brush. And then I go up here to the top and I kind of do my little dabbing, smushing, mushing, trying to clean up my line there. And then just run over the whole nail. Because like I said, you really, really do want to do thin coats. Now, see that's applied a little bit more polish back onto my brush. So I'm going to go over here and do my sidewalls, free edge, my tip, and then my other sidewall free edge. And this just helps the polish, you know, first it helps with shrinkage and it also helps with wear. So, so there we go, we've got that nail done. I'm going to first of all break out Woody. I use him first a lot of times and do a little bit of wiping with him. And see I got some down in there. I don't want that dry in there so I'm going to scrape that out and wipe it off on my paper towel. And then I'm going to get my alcohol. I'm so used to using acetone. I almost called it acetone. But I do like to go in and tidy up this is, to me, this is key um, to ending up with a, you know, pretty decent gel polish mani, is making sure to do that cleanup before you cure it. I always like to look up under here, because that's where I always get little residuals. And that is very annoying when it dries like that. And as you can tell, I stay, I leave a little bit more of a gap back here. And it's because I'm still new and I would rather have a little bit of a gap than to be having gel polish cured onto my fingertips. So um, I'm going to finish this hand up with this first coat and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and we're going to get ready to do the second coat. Get the polish off the stem as we've done before totally off one side of the brush and then a little bit more off the other side of the brush. Oh goodness. 
got to get it right. You know, when we're playing with regular polishes, we kind of know how much to load the brush up. And gel polishes, it's kind of a learning curve with that also. <laughs> so, and I do just like in the first coat, I kind of start in the middle, about halfway up. Get the middle of the nail done first, and then I start working my, dabbing my way up towards that cuticle area, and then over to the sides. And then, you know, I like to kind of pinch that skin back on my fingertips so that I, I don't get some polish all over it. And there we go. And I'm going to cap that side and the free edge again and the other side. Then I'm going to make sure to do my cleanup. I hope I didn't cut that out. I'm working with products I'm not as familiar with and uh, it is a little different playing with gel polishes than regular polishes not just you know I mean the application they they go on different the consistency is different so I did get that cleaned up and I'm gonna finish my pinky nail cure on and then we're gonna top coat So we're going to go in for this base coat. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of leveled itself back down. But it just got a bead on one side. I'm going to scrape just a little, one more time. But I got a little bead. A little, little tiny bead. And I'm going to do the same. I'm starting in the middle of the nail. Work towards the tip. Kind of get that done. And then I'm going to start inching my way up and dabbing that top coat over onto the sides and up here by this top flip that brush over and get back in frame pinching that skin back um, making sure to get you know over to the side walls and then I run my brush back down through the middle again just to kind of make sure everything's even and I'm going to be sure to cap that tip and the sides again for a, you know, manicure with a little longevity, I hope, because I want to do, I want to show you all some, a whole bunch of nail art over a black base. And um, I want this black base to last for a while. But I definitely want to encourage any time you play with gel polish, just make sure to take the time to do your cleanup. Um, it's really, really important. It makes the nail polish stay on longer and better. And, uh, you know, having cured gel polish on your fingertips is not cool unless it's just on your nails. So I'm going to finish these up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am done doing this gel polish manicure. Nothing artwork today. I'm going to put some cuticle oil on real quick as I wrap it up and give you my thoughts on, you know, this doing this. I know a lot of people don't ever plan on doing gels. And, and I get that. I understand. Um, and any of the manicures that I show you, you know, using this manicure as a base, just remember, you don't have to do gels. You can always do those manicures and just start with a dry black base manicure. So, um, but I did want to throw this out there. I know I had mentioned it and there was a lot of interest in it and, you know, um, that's, that's always lovely. So I've got my cuticle oil ripped in and now I'm going to take... Because, you know, we got to make them look pretty. Ah, there it is. My little spray bottle of alcohol. It's 91%. I'm going to put it on one of these little supposedly lint-free wipes. And 
just wipe my nails off because I don't want I don't want the oil all over them. I want y'all to see how pretty they are. But I did my cuticles were so dry. I you know wanted to make sure to you know. Um, and this is a no wipe top coat. I'm not having to do this for you know those purposes. And now I'm gonna take my shirt and just give a little buff, 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 buff. But there we go. It's going to be a really nice base for, you know, other manicures. And, you know, like I said, I'm not a gel expert. I'm such a novice. And um, if you have any questions that I might can answer, please leave them down below. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave those also. Um, I'm planning on doing white on this hand so that I've got two canvases to play with because I do want to show you guys... Um, multiple nail arts on black and white, you know, bases. So look forward to those. And, you know, as always, uh, thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.